With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. Let's start the question. How many chiral compounds are possible on monochlorination of two methyl butane? Yes, two methyl butane. So we have been given the options, and we got to identify that. Okay, so first of all, let us write down 2 methyl butane. So 2 methyl butane is going to be on the second carbon methyl group. Yes, and then CH2 and CH3. So this is your 2 methyl butane. Monochlorination. So we can imagine that chlorination would be taking place and it's a monochlorinated product. So for each of these carbons located over here, we would be identifying as to which of the hydrogens would be substituted. Now, number one is going to be this carbon. Yes. Then comes in number two, this one. The upper one is as identical as the first one. So obviously, any of one of, I mean, any one of these could be substituted and it would be ending with the same product. Yes. So in that case, let us move on. So this is going to be three and this is going to be four. Yeah, so these would be four different products which we would be getting. Yeah, so let me show you what would be the structures. Okay, so the very first one is going to be CH2Cl, CH, CH3 and CH2CH3. Okay, this is compound number say one. Now what next? Next is the second carbon being substituted. Fine, so CH3. CH, CH3. In fact, CH, the hydrogen needs to be substituted, isn't it? So let us write down chloro group over there. And there we are with the product. And that's your product number two. Okay, next. I'm gliding on the left hand side, students. So please pay attention properly. Okay, the third hydrogen substituted and this is what you get as product number three. And then the fourth hydrogen would be substituted. I mean the hydrogen residing on the fourth carbon atom. So it's going to be CH3, CH, CH3, CH2 and CH2Cl. Yeah, so that's product number four. Now all of these four are very, very different from each other. Okay, though all of them are having the same molecular formula, they would be having different structures as we can see over here. Among these, we have to find out which are the chiral compounds. Yes, so chiral compound is the one which has a carbon with four different groups attached around it. Okay, so it could be four different functional groups, any four different substituents, or it could be a mixture of substituents and functional groups, but for sure it's going to be four different atoms or groups of atoms in short. So let us analyze the first one. The first one can show me the carbon over here. The first carbon is definitely not a chiral one because it is having two hydrogens. So no ways. What about the second carbon? Yes, it is chiral. Why? Because I'm having a methyl, a hydrogen, an ethyl and a chloromethyl group. So obviously this is going to be chiral and a chiral carbon is always marked with an asterisk. Yeah. So number one is definitely a chiral compound. What next? Second one, let us analyze it. Oh, uh, in the second case, CH3 is definitely not a chiral one. What about the next carbon? No, it's not chiral because it is having two methyl groups. So this is out of question because CH2 and CH3 once again are not going to be chiral. Hop on. To the third one, we are having CH3, CH, CH3. This is an isopropyl group. Then I have a carbon which is having this isopropyl group. On the other side, a methyl, a hydrogen and a chloro. Yes, it is definitely a chiral carbon. Yes, so third one also end, ends up to be a chiral compound. And then comes the fourth one. Now in fourth one, obviously the first and the second carbon is not at all chiral. What about the third one? No. Fourth one, no. So that means I'm having 
two chiral compounds, namely product number one and three, which are obtained on monochlorination of two methyl butane. Now, since the number of isomers has not been specified, we assume that we just had to find out the chiral compounds. And hence, the answer is two. And that matches with our option number two. I hope you understood the explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.